Oh dear, that's not positioned very well, is it? The reflection of my new selfie lamp makes it look like I've got a hook on my head. <laughs> oh God, it's never easy. Ugh. So this is a bit of a, a random vlog. Um, it's the weekend. Um, normally on a Saturday, I would be at my local pub, um, giving it some on the old microphone on the karaoke, but I've not been well. Um, I didn't have COVID. I've had COVID once back in January, February. And, uh, but this time, um, it was just, I think a seasonal virus. Um, a lot of people seem to be coming down with it at the moment where I live and um, it wasn't very nice. I basically celebrated my birthday and then came down with the lurg and spent a week in bed. Um, this is like the second week now, uh, the end of the second week with it. And um, I still sound a bit funny, still coughing every now and again and blowing the old snoz. But um, apart from that, I actually feel fine. So tonight, um, instead of going to the pub and having a sing song, I've been on Star Maker and Smule and stung a couple of new songs on there because I haven't done anything for a while and um, I thought I would do a little vlog um, on things that I've bought recently because obviously well not that it takes being ill to buy anything um, I am really terrible for just buying things you know um, actually spend more money than I get coming in which is bad um, but yeah um, being ill there's nothing else to do really when you're laid in bed random thoughts of all oh, I might need that I'll buy it but um, some of the things I have bought are really good so um, what can I tell you first of all yeah I had a, I had a, a birthday it was kind of um, a joint 40th and 41st birthday um, because I didn't get to celebrate mine last year um, due to lockdown and everything and so this year we had a little bit of a do in the local pub and uh, it was karaoke night I had loads of family that I hadn't seen for a while came and family and friends came uh, some even from school uh, which was really really nice um, and we had a good old night apart from the fact that we all caught the lurgy afterwards um, yeah, but it was really good and uh, yeah, I have a thing for baby Guinnesses now. <laughs> ah, fantastic. Um, yeah, so I was quite, I was quite excited to hopefully get to the pub tonight, but um, I've hurt my knee somehow. Well, a couple of years ago, my, uh, I had a load of tests done at the hospital and scans and they said that I had spikes on my knee and um, I've been, my job's been fairly active up until like the last couple of weeks where I've been moved to a different area and there's a lot of standing about and um, not really much happening. So I'm, I'm kind of seizing up a bit and I don't know if it's where I've, I've been a bit naughty with the old food wise as work, work the food as well. So, um, and maybe weight going on or whatever. But um, yeah, I've not, not been doing as much exercise or walking as I was and uh, I don't know. So it's a really weird pain and uh, I kind of think maybe one of the spikes might have chipped off. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, so I've had my leg in a, in a leg brace for most of today. Um, hope, hoping that it'll be all right for, for Monday when I go back to work. In other news and other news, other news, other news, um, I've decided to give dipping powder a bit of a rest. Um, <clears throat> when I first started using the dipping powder, I was fine. Everything was fine. And then um, the last three or four times that I've used it, um, I've had a bit of a reaction. I've ended up with um, something called dipping flu. And um, yeah, it's not very nice. It's like a bad, well, it's like a bad cold really. Um, but it's awful because you do your nails to go out somewhere nice and then you've got an horrible stinking cold. Um, due to a reaction. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the top coat, the powder or what that I'm allergic to. But um, yeah, I've decided to have a break from it. But I took I took the dipping powder off and I couldn't, I just couldn't stand to see my nails without any nail varnish or anything on. So um, I bought these rather wonderful um, back 
to the old glue on nails. Um, this is, I don't know if you can see that because of the lamp, this new light that I've bought is just so bright. Um, it's a, I'll put a, I'll put a picture up there, it'll be easier. Um, this is the Kiss Bring the Salon Home Revolutionary Natural Nails and it's the uh, Salon Acrylic French Nude Glue On Nails. And they're fantastic. They've got these little tabs on the top which help you line them up on your fingers, um, which is good because when they ain't got the tabs, I always tend to stick them on a bit wonky. Um, I still, I've never been able to put French manicure ones on without getting a little air bubble on a couple of them. But um, yeah, they're really, I don't know if you can see that, it's this lamp, but they're really lovely. And they don't even, they, they just, they feel real. They don't feel like I've got anything stuck on. You know, sometimes you get glue on nails and they feel a bit tight and like your nails are bit, your nails are being prized off underneath. <laughs> or is that just me? Um, these are really nice. They're really nice. They're sort of like, um, they're not, they're not thin, but they adapt to your nails. They fit to your nails. They, there's some magic stuff in them that, um, just fits to you, to the shape of your nail. Because I know lots of people have different shaped nails and sometimes it's a bit awkward. Um, the ones I used to get when I was a teenager used to be like really hard plastic and you'd stick them on and you could tell they didn't actually, you know, they were kind of prizing my nails out to meet the shape of them rather than them fitting my nails. And, uh, but yeah, they're really good. And I've had lots of um, compliments on them as well. People thinking that I've had them done in a salon, so. Yeah, I definitely recommend them. They were $7.99 from Superdrug. And uh, yeah, so I've got a couple of those and I've got a couple of, uh, there's, a, there's a red pair, a black pair, I think. And I've ordered some more from Amazon as well to come because uh, I think I'll be just, I'll be just sticking them on from now. It's a shame because I spent a lot of money on the old dipping powder, but I really don't like being ill. It's not fun. Um, so yeah. Um, I'm not saying don't, if you're interested in dipping powder, do give it a go. Um, but I mean, I even took to sitting out in my garden and now obviously the weather's changed. It's not going to be the best because there'll, there'll be powder blowing everywhere and be getting wet from rain and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm just going to give it a break for a bit and use the old stick ones. Um, it was my birthday and I got some rather lovely gifts. Uh, my friend Jackie bought me these lovely earrings. Um, which were from, not sure where they're from, I don't know who they made, they made. She left the price tag on the back though, so I know how much they were, um, <laughs> but I can't tell you where I got them from, where she got them from, but um, they are really nice. I've never worn a style like this before, like a drop, I don't know, see, I'll come a bit closer, you can see them, they're like a little drop earring. And they're really gl glittery. I do like my glittery earrings. So yeah, I got those. Um, she bought me this rather funky pillow as well. Where is it? It says, she got this in Home Sense. I'm sure she said she got this in Home Sense. But it says, eat, drink and be scary. It's one of their Halloween uh, pillows, cushions. And it is so lovely. It's proper round in there. And uh, yeah. I was looking for another one that matches the imitation Chanel um, cushion, but the lady who had them never got back to me. So yeah, so I've got, Jackie must have read my mind that I was after another black cushion. So thank you very much, Jackie, for my earrings and my cushion. Um, she also got me a rather cute cuddly pug <laughs> because I love little dogs. Aww. Yeah. He's a cutie. Um, and <laughs> 40 years old, dearie me. And uh, she got me these really cool, they're still in the bag because I've, I've, got to, I've got to sort out my bedroom and find places for everything. But she bought me this wonderful little collection of stacking boxes for bits and pieces. Um, it's all different, like there's one in, it's like Russian boxes, Russian doll boxes. But there's one in there and there's an even smaller one so that's kind of good um i'm going to use them for little keepsakes and mementos um yeah i keep a lot of stuff um cards from 
boyfriends and stuff and people that I knew before. Just keep them all in there, photos and family. But yeah, they're lovely as well. So yeah, I just need to clear some toot, <laughs> as my nan would call it, out the way. And then I can set that all up nicely. Now, my other friend, Catherine, who I met at work. She used to work at the, at the school where I work. And then I later found out that I went to school with her sisters and she bought me some rather nice stuff. I've eaten and drunk the edible bits. Um, I had a lovely little sachet of coffee and some biscuits. And um, I've got a volcanic mud bubble sheet mask to use at some point. I'm, I'm, I'm always wary. Um, let me see. I used to be a little bit allergic to flowery extracts. Um, chamomile was one. Um, once when I was little, someone bought me some shampoo for blonde hair, um, which had chamomile in it, which was supposed to make it lighter. And um, I don't know, it took me two or three times to realize it was that that made my eyes swell up. So <laughs> couldn't use chamomile, couldn't drink chamomile, anything. So yeah, I'll be checking to see what's in that before I use it, but it does look rather nice. I've always wanted to try something like that, so that's quite good. And um, she bought me this lovely book actually as well. Um, it's called To the Women, Words to Live By, by Donna Ashworth. And um, let me see, it says, To the Women is the second book from History uh, Will Remember author and social media wordsmith Donna Ashworth. Donna's poems and essays are constantly flying around the internet bringing positivity and solid, 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 solidarity to women and men everywhere. You can find her daily offerings on social media and you will be glad you did. Um, yeah, and there was a poem that I saw in the back here, which was, um, but I can't find it now. Look how far you have come. You are a warrior and you are not done yet. Yes, so there's one for all of us there. But yeah, so that's a lovely little book. And Catherine also, um, oh, she's wonderful. I get a lot of my, well, I got a lot of my um, Frederick Mahora stuff from her, first of all. And she's, I got that wonderful mascara from her. Um, but she's also selling now. I mean, she's she gifted me these for my birthday. And they're, um, they're wax melts. Um, and this one is called Restore. And they're actually really nice scents. This one's Relax. And the other one is uh, Jade. I've always, I've always been a massive fan of Scentsy. Since my friend in Canada introduced me to Scentsy a couple of years ago. So I love all these wax burners. Oh, that's nice. I like that one. It's, um, it's called Restore. It smells a bit like a hunky man's aftershave. Mm. Yeah, I like that one. Might have to burn that one. Uh, sinful sense, it's called. Um, but yeah, she has these these awful. I'll have to check. I'm, I'm, yeah, she sells them. And that's a nice one as well. What one's that? It's a bit minty and florally. Relax. So relax and restore. Smell like goodness. So I might have to get them out and burn them tomorrow. And I've got a lovely, I can't wait to try this. I've never had um, like a foot soak or bar of crystals. I've normally just thrown a bar of soap in a bar <laughs> and then uh, just let it permeate through the water and rub my feet on it. But um, yeah, so these are rose quartz bath crystals and foot soak. Um, we can't actually use our bath, so um, yeah. So I'll be sprinkling these in through my feet at some point, which is lovely, I can't wait for that. So, um, yeah, moving on from the birthday bits. Uh, what else was there? Okay, I told you about my nails. Oh, hairbrush. Okay, so normally my hair is curly. Um, I, um, well, in the summer months and whatever, I, I, when I wash it, I leave it to dry and it goes all curly-whirly. And, um, but just lately I've been brushing it out and I, oh, I suffer terribly from knots. My hair is really thick. I have really thick hair. And I was, I, I always use Denman brushes if I can. And I had a Denman, 
But I noticed that Denman have these paddle brushes, pardon, Denman have these paddle brushes and when it arrived, I thought, oh, it's not going to do anything because there's no, I'm used to brushes that have got the little bub, uh, bubbles on the end, like, you know, and stuff like that. But um, this one hasn't got any and it felt really soft and I thought that ain't going to touch my hair. But, um, oh my God, it is the best brush I've ever had. It's, um, yeah, it just glides through your hair. And I mean, I read a couple of the reviews on Amazon and one of the women on there said that it was rubbish and that it didn't didn't touch her hair, but I, I don't know what was wrong with her hair. I mean, my hair is really troublesome and it is so nice. I don't have any problems now, not any, uh, you know, when you <laughs> normally drag yourself across the bathroom because you can't get the knots out. It just takes them all out and it works. It works when your hair's wet and, it, and obviously when it's dry. Um, the only thing, well, I saw a couple of the pictures, everyone was like, my bristles bent over and I think maybe what they'd done is used it whilst with the hairdryer and it had melted the, melted the old things. But I mean, if you want a brush to get all the knots out and brush your hair out when you've got out of the shower or even if you've woken up in the morning, sometimes, oh, it's like Medusa, just whack that through it. Your hair's not free, tangle free in seconds. Love it. This was, let me see now. I think for some reason, if it was different colors, they got all different colors. You can get, I think there's like a mint green one, there's a lilac and something else. And my mum bought the lilac one for, I'm sure it was 10 pounds something. And then I thought I'll get a pink one so we don't confuse them. And mine cost 12 pounds something. And I think the green one is even cheaper or less. But I mean, go on, go on Amazon, type in Denman uh, paddle brush or tangle, tangle paddle brush and um, see what price it is this week. But whatever it is, I really, really recommend you get one because they're fantastic. Um, what else now? Oh, I bought some shirts, obviously. Got a little bit of birthday money. So I thought I'd treat myself to a couple of um, shirts. First one is this rather lovely, can't see it from here. Um, I'll take a picture of myself in it and I'll put it on the corner here. But this is a um, Yours London and it was a, a peplum top. Um, it's fantastic. It's, it's not see-through at all. I was worried it would be see-through or that, um, I've ordered a couple of things from yours lately and it's that really stretchy t-shirt material and the style of the shirt that they've made it in just hasn't, hasn't felt or seen right to me. So I've sent them back, but um, this is fantastic. This is lovely. Um, it cost, oh, there ain't no price on here. I'll tell you how much it was, either down below or something. I'll put how much it was. But um, yeah, I treat myself to that and it is so um, slimming, it's fantastic. With the old peplum bit at the bottom and this, this belt as well, it just cinches you in, right, in the right place around the waist and uh, it looked really nice when I tried it on earlier. And this is the other one. Um, ever since I went to Canada, uh, I've been to Canada three times now. Three times. At once when I was going to Canada, um, I think we got about an hour or two into the flight and we lost an engine and that was that was scary. Um, we was on the news and everything. We um, ended up having to make an emergency landing in Iceland and uh, had to stay in, a, what is it? I, I stayed at the um, Reykjavik Grand Hotel, which was lovely. I really, really, really want to go back there one day. Um, and yeah, we had to stay there overnight, but I was gutted because I'd obviously it, it was, well, summer in Canada. And so I had nothing but summer clothes to take with me to Canada. And I went to walk outside of the hotel and it was just too cold. I thought I'm going to, I'm going to die if I, <laughs> if I go out in my sandals. Um, so I, I didn't actually get to see anywhere out, uh, other than through the window of my room, which was wonderful. Um, but yeah, so plan to go back to Brooklyn. Anyway. I digress. I went to Canada and I love the, um, the oh, I can never say it, plaid. And I can't think, 
the green, the, oh, the green, the red and the black um, colours of their shirts that they wear. I've been saying it all week and now I need to say it, I can't say it. Anyway, they had this rather lovely top on there. And again, I mean, I always, I, I hate, I always think that it looks really big, but when I tried it on, I look, it made me look really slim. So I love this. Um, this was, uh, oh, I've got no price on that one either. Um, yeah, it's wonderful. I love it. I can't wait to wear it. But I don't know if I'll be able, I won't wear it to work obviously, because it could get grub, grubby or covered in bogies from the kids um, or mash. And, um, but yeah, it'll definitely be a kind of smart, casual going out top. Love it. I decided to try this. Um, this was on Amazon and it's a Rouge Edition Velvet uh, Matte Finish Lip Stain um, from, is it? Bourgeois and um, I do like my especially in well I'm, I'm a big lover of red lipstick and uh, in autumn I love going for the darker reds and um, so I bought this one and as you can well the only thing that I don't like about this is the smell it smells a little bit um, chemically but it's um, it comes out like that yeah you can see it's a little bit um yeah and you put it on like so and it does it doesn't last hours and hours but it is almost as good as um well it's this is this is as a long-lasting lipstick. I'm, I normally use um, the uh, Lipfinity uh, from Max Factor or the Maybelline 24 hour Superstay lipsticks because I just, I can't, I can't carry loads of makeup with me in my bag. I don't, I, if I, I do my makeup before I go out and I'll take like a, you know, one of them 24 hour Superstays or the Lipfinities with me and I whack the colour on and then I've just got the, the little gel to put on if my lips get dry. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really bother me. But um, yeah, this is quite good. Um, I wear the other ones because I always think, well, you should be lucky to get a kiss. <laughs> no one will be going home with a, you know, lipstick on. Yeah, you know what I mean. But um, yeah. Um, and also they're really good like when you're eating and stuff you just need to sort of like top them up a bit after you've eaten because they, they tend to stay around the outside but they last for hours and this one I think well I've had this on most of the day and I've only I've only topped it up twice so it is a good one it's not as uh, long lasting as the Lipfinity and 24 hour Superstay but it's you know it maintains its colour and does last for a while but um yeah and it does stain the lips and the good thing it's weird is you know look if i do this it does come off but look at the color it's hardly anything so yeah i'm really impressed with that but as i say it just smells a bit you know like because I, I love when you get a new lipstick and you open it up and it has the, the wonderful nice little perfumey smell or whatever but this just smells a bit like ink <laughs> but uh yeah so apart from that that's my little update for you and showing you the little bits and pieces that i bought i'm hoping to go out shopping again soon as well i've not been i've been ordering a lot online lately um you know being sick and then having to go to work and stuff like that so um yeah hopefully we'll get out for another little have a little jaunt around the shops um, soon but until then enjoy the rest of your week or weekend depending on whenever you see this um, and I will see you all again soon so if it's the weekend cheers everyone have a good one see you in the next video see ya <laughs>